You won't believe the miraculous turn of events that unfolded in the lives of one of our favorite reality TV families. Imagine getting a phone call that flips your world upside down, a call that makes your heart skip a beat and leaves you gasping for air. That's exactly what happened to Amber and Trent Johnston, the beloved stars of Seven Little Johnstons, when they received shocking news about their nephew's near-fatal car accident. This past Sunday, Amber and Trent took to their joint Instagram page to share some deeply personal and emotional news. They posted a series of black and white photos that immediately grabbed everyone's attention. The first photo showed their nephew lying in a hospital bed, intubated, wearing a neck brace, surrounded by medical equipment. It was a heart-wrenching sight that no family should ever have to witness. The second photo offered a glimmer of hope. Their nephew was still in the hospital room, still wearing that neck brace, hooked up to monitors and what appeared to be drainage tubes. But this time, he was propped up and alert as Trent helped him with a snack. The contrast between the two images was striking and spoke volumes about the journey he had been through. In the accompanying caption, Amber and Trent explained that they're opening up about this incident now, two months after it happened, to provide accurate information at their nephew's request. They noted that until this point, the accident was a private matter kept among family and close friends. This makes us wonder, what prompted them to share this news now? Was it a milestone in his recovery? Or perhaps a desire to set the record straight before rumors started swirling? According to their September 22nd post, their adult nephew, who is also a little person, was assessing the damage to his car and another driver's after what was described as a fender bender on July 19th. As he was returning to his vehicle, he was struck by an SUV. Can you imagine? One moment you're dealing with a minor accident and the next you're fighting for your life. The list of injuries he sustained is nothing short of staggering. An aortic dissection, 14 broken ribs, a cervical fracture, torn liver and spleen, an orbital fracture, a trimalleolar ankle fracture, and a brain bleed. Just hearing that list is overwhelming. Yet, despite these catastrophic injuries, he survived. Miraculously, he suffered no brain damage. Here's where the story takes an even more fascinating turn. The Johnstons mentioned that due to his dwarfism chest anatomy, it's believed that this unique physiological trait actually helped save his life. How incredible is that? It's like his body was uniquely equipped to withstand this unimaginable trauma. Let's pause for a moment to reflect on the gravity of this situation. Surviving an aortic dissection alone is rare and often fatal if not treated immediately. Add to that multiple fractures, internal organ damage, and a brain bleed, and the odds of survival diminish significantly. The fact that he pulled through is a testament to his resilience and the wonders of modern medicine. Now, while the family is immensely grateful for the outcome, their nephew isn't through the woods just yet. He's still healing and recovering from the immense trauma he endured. The Johnstons wrote, The journey continues to be long and windy, but we are grateful the journey exists and he's alive. That line really struck a chord with me. It's a powerful reminder that every day is a gift, and even the toughest journeys are worth taking when you have loved ones by your side. They concluded their post with a sweet nod to their nephew's indomitable spirit. As he says, for his 40th birthday this week, He's over the hill, but he ain't through the woods yet. How amazing is that? Even after everything he's been through, he still has a sense of humor and a positive outlook. Now, let's delve a little deeper into who the Johnstons are and why this story resonates with so many people. For those who might not be familiar, Seven Little Johnstons is a reality TV show that follows the lives of Amber and Trent and their five children, all of whom have achondroplasia dwarfism. The show has been a groundbreaking platform for dwarfism awareness, showcasing the family's everyday experiences, challenges, and triumphs. Over the years, viewers have fallen in love with their authenticity, humor, and the way they tackle life's obstacles head-on. They've opened up their lives to the world, breaking down stereotypes and fostering a greater understanding of what it means to be a little person in today's society. So when news breaks about a member of their extended family experiencing such a traumatic event, it feels personal for many of us who have followed their journey. It's more than just a headline, it's a story about a family we've come to care about deeply. Let's talk about the medical aspects for a moment because they are truly fascinating. 
An aortic dissection is a serious condition where a tear occurs in the inner layer of the aorta, the large blood vessel branching off the heart. This can lead to internal bleeding and is often fatal if not treated promptly. Surviving such an event is rare and requires immediate medical intervention. Then there's the fact that he sustained 14 broken ribs and a cervical fracture. The cervical spine is located in the neck, and injuries here can be particularly dangerous, potentially leading to paralysis. A torn liver and spleen add another layer of complexity, as these organs are vital for detoxifying the body and fighting infection. The orbital fracture involves the bones surrounding the eye, which can affect vision and facial structure. A trimalleolar ankle fracture is a break of three areas of the ankle, often requiring surgery and extensive rehabilitation. And let's not forget the brain bleed, which can cause long-term neurological issues. Given all these injuries, his survival, and the absence of brain damage, is nothing short of miraculous. The mention of his dwarfism chest anatomy playing a role in saving his life is particularly intriguing. It suggests that his unique physiological characteristics may have provided some protection during the impact. This aspect of the story opens up important conversations about medical research and the need for more studies focused on people with dwarfism. There's so much we don't know, and cases like this can provide valuable insights that could benefit others in the future. Now, let's consider the emotional and psychological impact of such an event on a family. Traumatic incidents don't just affect the individual, but ripple out to touch everyone around them. The stress, fear, and uncertainty can be overwhelming. Amber and Trent have always been pillars of strength, both for their family and their audience. Sharing this story could be their way of processing the trauma, finding solace in community support, and perhaps even helping others who might be going through similar situations. In times like these, social media can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it offers a platform to share and receive support. On the other, it can expose families to scrutiny and unwanted attention. The fact that they chose to share this news publicly indicates a level of trust and openness with their followers. It's also a testament to the power of positive thinking and community prayers or well wishes. Whether you're spiritual or not, there's something uplifting about collective goodwill directed towards someone in need. I want to take a moment to appreciate all of you who send positive vibes, prayers, and supportive messages when stories like this come up. It may seem small, but it can make a world of difference to those going through tough times. The Johnstons mentioned that until now, only close friends and family knew about the accident. This suggests they had a strong support system in place during this difficult time. It's a reminder of how crucial it is to have people you can rely on when life throws you a curveball. In today's fast-paced world, we often get caught up in the hustle and bustle, forgetting to check in on our loved ones. Maybe this is a good time to reach out to that friend or family member you've been meaning to call. You never know what someone might be going through. Also, let's take a moment to appreciate the healthcare professionals who played a role in his recovery. From the emergency responders to the surgeons, nurses, and rehabilitation therapists, each person contributed to this miraculous outcome. In times like these, the importance of skilled and compassionate medical care cannot be overstated. Now, shifting gears a bit, let's talk about the resilience of the human body and spirit. Surviving an aortic dissection along with multiple fractures and internal injuries is exceedingly rare. It's almost as if everything aligned perfectly for him to make it through. Isn't it fascinating how life works sometimes? How in the midst of chaos and tragedy, there can be moments of profound grace and unexpected blessings. It certainly makes you ponder the bigger picture. As we near the end of this video, I want to circle back to the courage it took for Amber and Trent to share the story. In the age of social media, it's easy to share the highlights, the vacations, the achievements, the picture-perfect moments. But it takes real bravery to open up about the tough times, the struggles, and the fears. Their transparency not only keeps their fans informed, but also helps destigmatize the challenges that many families face behind closed doors. It's a reminder that even those who live in the public eye are human, dealing with the same ups and downs as the rest of us. Before we wrap up, I want to extend my heartfelt wishes to their nephew for a full and speedy recovery. Turning 40 is a milestone in itself, but doing so after surviving such a harrowing ordeal is truly remarkable. 
He's not just over the hill, he's climbing mountains. So, what's the takeaway from all of this? Life is unpredictable. One moment you're handling a minor fender bender, and the next you're fighting for your life. It's a stark reminder to cherish every moment, tell your loved ones how much they mean to you, and never take a single day for granted. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and for being part of this incredible community. Your support means the world to me, and I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this story. All right, lovely people, that's all I have for you today. If you found this video insightful or inspiring, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more updates on stories that touch the heart and stir the soul. Until next time, stay safe, stay kind, and keep spreading those positive vibes. This is Julie signing off. Bye for now.